Now you know when you be like you gonna do something in this, it starts. <laughs> I need y'all to help me out. Cause hey, I'm in here. Y'all know what y'all came for. You know. So we made it. Look at my hand. Baby God had time today. It was not sweet. Get his ass, mama. And we gonna do like a mock setup just so y'all can see how it works. Like we've been going in that same freaking circle and I'm like, it has to be a better way. I used that first and baby these edges did not stay so I had to go back to my old faithful she bomb hey y'all so it's a little later on the game and stuff is officially over um I'm not sure oh it's like 6 30 my phone is dead there and it's in one of them bags it's like 6 30 all the games is over it was a very messy game like it is pouring down Luckily, we brought the tent out today because I couldn't imagine what it would have been like. So, I feel real sticky, nasty, and disgusting. I'm assuming we're about to go home so everybody can freshen up. And then I don't know what the day holds from there, if anything. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Happy Easter Sunday. So, we decided that we're going to cook breakfast. But for the breakfast that I want to cook... Or we want to cook because they ass is helping me. We need a few things from the store. <clears throat> so we're about to run to the store real quick. But before we run to the store, um, I got a quick question for y'all. I was just getting dressed and I sprayed on some perfume. And I've been trying to use my perfumes more frequently and combining them and things. Because I want new perfumes. But I'm telling myself, self, you can't get no new perfumes until you use what you got. Or at least put a dent in what you got. Like I have a bunch of new bottles of perfume. But anyways, I put on the Billie Eilish today. And it's a very vanilla smell. What do y'all mix Billie Eilish with? Because all my other perfumes, I can pretty much combine them with another one. But I don't have nothing vanilla-y that is making me feel like I can pair it with... um. Billie Eilish. So, if y'all know of any good vanilla scent perfume, let me know. But yeah, we about to run to the store. I'm just about to straighten up the living room a little bit and put these chairs back because we hung out down here last night after the game, after Darren's game. It was real rainy, so we just came home and 
really watch TV. The weather's so damn bipolar. That rain brought all that. Oh, a cold front? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it was real rainy. What's she running to? She like, she was about to <laughs> chase somebody. I got me on the little card again, y'all. I got me on the little card again, cover my little shoulders. I asked Alexa how was the weather before I got dressed. But this weather is bipolar. One day it'll be real cold, real rainy. Real hot and just switch it up. It's like 50 degrees right now, child. And yesterday I was pouring sweat. Y'all tell me, is this a plant growing back or is this a weed? We've been trying to figure that out. Should we pull it up and redo the uh should we pull it up and plant a new plant there when we redo the lawn? Or is this a plant respouting? Cause you see the flower to the left, but to me it's giving Weed, but then it's given plant. I don't know. So we went to the grocery store. I didn't vlog that part because I was on live and it's kind of hard to vlog and be on live at the same time. We just tag team the kitchen and I'm about to start. What you sucking your teeth for? I mean, what did you tag? I wiped the counters down and I swelled. And you doing the dishes. Oh, okay. I guess you did tag the dishes. You didn't try in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm about to start cooking breakfast now. We went to the store and we got eggs, cinnamon rolls, and some um, peach punch that Darius wanted. So, Darren is going to be helping me with the cinnamon rolls. I think I'm about to make everything else first. It might make sense to make the cinnamon rolls first because that's going to take a long time. I don't know what all you cooking, baby. What are you cooking? Cinnamon, cinnamon rolls, rolls uh, pancakes or waffles. Pick one. Pancakes, cool. Eggs and bacon. And he ain't say if he wanted grits, so ain't no grits in the picture right now. And that's that. I've been my time. I've been taking my time away. Brunch looks like. 
What you put on for us to watch, baby? Um, a little Transformers. Mm. So, so we're back. which one it is. I put on one. Mm. I'm going to really not know. I did the best on the cinnamon. And he said he did the best on the cinnamon rolls. I had the best. So that's the best. That's your favorite thing out the brunch. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh. Only reason you're going to say that is because it's sweet. And he cooked it. And the potato chips. I'm in the potato. So, we're about to watch this movie. Sit down and chill. We ain't really got much going on right now. But making the brunch was fun. And it's so good. <laughs> Hey y'all, so it's a little bit later on in the day. I don't think I introduced the vlog earlier, so let's go ahead and do that. For those of you who are new, I am Grace. And before we get too far into the video, make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and like this video. Drop a comment down below and let me know what are you currently doing. After I ate that breakfast, I got that itis. Set my ass down. According to Darius, the breakfast was only, not Darius, Darian, the breakfast was only good because he made the cinnamon rolls. He said if he ain't make the cinnamon rolls, the breakfast wouldn't have been good. <laughs> that it is true. It's true. <laughs> so, thank God Darian came through and saved the Easter brunch. <laughs> so, right now, um... It's like 8 o'clock at... No, it might be not. It's 9.30 at night. Since y'all last seen me, we went to Darius', uh, Darius job, had lunch with him at Longhorn. Y'all just seen me eat the clip before, so I didn't feel the need to share it. And then I just got home from picking up my son. So today's been a very chill day, mostly because of the weather and the holiday. Ain't really much open, so ain't really much I could have did and I ain't feel like cleaning and I ain't feel like working so since I enjoyed today it was a relaxing very relaxing day for me I do want to address something with y'all what is you doing sir oh okay I do want to address something with y'all like just one small really big housekeeping so whatever y'all see in these videos that I mentioned to y'all share with y'all I don't expect y'all to buy them. Like, if y'all buy them, cool. If y'all do buy them based off of my recommendation, please make sure you click in the description box. The link's down in the description box. Make sure you're clicking that to purchase it because what happens is the system of magic links register that you click my link and I get a small piece of commission and that allows me to continue to make those kind of videos for y'all. So if you see what I'm saying, I need y'all to help me out because a lot of y'all said y'all bought those uh, JLab AirPods. Y'all love them. I'm glad y'all love them. I'm happy y'all agree with my opinions. We on one page, but I ain't getting no commission off of them. I'm like, dang, what, they just went and Googled it? So just make sure y'all click in the link down in the description box if y'all do purchase anything that y'all see on my videos. I mean, it's only fear. But I ain't got shit going on right now. I'm probably just gonna chill some more, lay down in the bed, watch some vlogs. Sunday's the day that I like to catch up on vlogs. I don't think none of my YouTubers that I like to watch uploaded today. I be in their inbox. Uh, sis, can I get a vlog? Sus. Don't don't say that. Boys don't say sis. Oh, India uploaded a vlog. Y'all go check out my good sis. I hit her up today. Me, uh, the reason I went to Darius' job is because we planning a trip to. There's gonna be a Afro Beats festival where my man, my man, my man, Burner Boy, is gonna be performing. So Darius agreed to take me. India lives in Miami, so I hit her up today. Let her know I'm going to be in town, sis. She says she's going to be available. She plan to come to the festival with us. So that ain't till next month. But I'm just telling y'all what's been going on today. And her vlog made me think about her. So let me go ahead and share my girl video. Okay, so I'm about to go watch India's vlog and then... I'm probably going to go to sleep. That's that's it for the day. That's it.
seem like the more I fly, the more they try to take me down. I call your phone, I treat your voice like it's my favorite sound. Your face, the only piece I've known, I'm just gonna face it now. But I try y'all, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. Y'all seen I gave myself a full facial this morning and my skin feels so freaking good. So smooth, so soft, so bouncy. And it looks so good. Like, I love that verse mask. It did what it was supposed to do. Now, right now, I'm just sitting in the car doing some Facebook reactions. I figured, okay, I dropped Darren to school as well. When y'all last seen me, I was getting out the shower, got him dressed, dropped him to school, and now I'm here. So, it's... 8 30 and i want to get these facebook reactions done and out the way in that way we can hang and i can vlog and you know just carry on with my day once my work is done i also got some stuff to do for the store as well as far as like recording a try on haul but my main focus today is getting enrolled for my college classes i went online and i tried to enroll after i got my acceptance and my approval letter but it's saying that i'm not eligible for enrollment which i don't get so i don't know if they need to update something in the system because i did my orientation online and it said something what was the other thing it said orientation and placement testing i don't have to take placement testing because i'm a college grad already so i think that's something in the system they may have to update but they don't open until nine o'clock so it's 8 40 so i figured i'll just sit in the car get my reactions done call them at nine o'clock then we'll go on about our day i do want to get some things done in the pantry as well today we're going to see how that go i ain't going to talk about it too much because it may very well not even get done today but y'all do y'all catch the look? I gotta zoom y'all in just so y'all know. This ain't no catfish. You little eyebrow arch, but this ain't no catfish. They on Facebook uh dragging me. I had a video go viral, and they ain't even care about the video. They care about my eyebrows. Cause I, I did something like this. So it looked like I had a unibrown. So they talking about forget the real. We need to get a paper or a wipe and wipe the middle of your eyebrow. And I'm just reading through the comments laughing. I love when they troll me. I love when they troll me. Because it be like, y'all ain't got nothing better to do. And the more I get trolled, the more I get paid. So, do I need to mess my eyebrows up intentionally to do these reactions so y'all can run this bag up? That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'll put a little line right here to get my views up. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm just sitting out here chilling about to do these reactions. When I get done talking to my school i'll pick y'all back up and then we'll go from there i'm always with i'll stay with <laughs> hey y'all so we're hey. in ikea Darius got off of work early hey i'm in here y'all know what y'all came for you know y'all be here for her just because <laughs> you know y'all want to show womanly power and stuff but they really here for you here for. they really here for you <laughs> <laughs> you know what they here for they know what we in ikea for huh what we in ikea for we in Ikea because your son broke his dresser, so he, we got to be responsible parents to get him another dresser. How you break a whole wood dresser? Good one. <laughs> so I bought one off of Amazon. It ended up being flimsy, being bull crap. Sent that back. Now we at Ikea trying to see can we find an affordable one. So let's see what we find. I, this, these are TV stands. <laughs> Everything in that mug available to say. <laughs> so these are the dresses at IKEA. Let's see what Darius picks. This one look a little better right here. That's photo. That one stands up higher. How much that one is? Two sixty. Oh, that ain't bad at all. Come in the boom. <laughs> so in case y'all never been to IKEA before, basically everything is set up on display so you can see it and you take a picture of these 
numbers and then you go to the warehouse or the storage house all the way at the end and you'll pick them up there so this is the dress of Darius pick for our son I'm about to go to the cafeteria and then we go into the warehouse so we just got through eating so let's resume shopping Darius said he wants one of these for the car trunk you think that's big enough I feel like it's big enough with the brush and brush. Hard. Yeah, I want it's like it. a soft toothbrush. I feel it. Yeah, I ain't gonna do no. Uh, yeah. No flimsy. That's why it's two seventy nine. I be being real ghetto, taking yeah, stuff rubber, out rubber of the mitts. oven with like wadded up pieces of paper towel. So we gotta get us some oven mitts. Which one you like the best? Does it matter if it matches the kitchen? Because if it needs I mean, to match the kitchen. Yeah. I like these better. I don't like them. No, we need silverware. I buy silverware like every two months. And I don't know what happened to them for me to have to buy them so frequently. 18 piece dinnerware set for $20. Mm. That might come in handy though. I think you got like one plate left. Two bowls. <laughs> yeah. I don't, them kids be breaking shit and throwing it away. <laughs> mm. So let me tell you what I did. So I came in. So we made it to the end in the warehouse area, storage area, whatever you want to call it. But it never fails. Every time I come to Ikea, I feel like I get lost every freaking time. I was ready to go 10 sections ago. Whew. Um, aisle 24, I believe. Aisle 24, Ben 21. Copain? Yeah. So you gotta get one, two, and three. Yeah, the box even says one, two, and three. <clears throat> I'm glad I brought you to do this, baby, because I would have rode all the way to Ikea just to go back home. So Ikea has this section called the as is section. I guess this is where people return stuff and it's a smidge damage and they sell it for a lower price. Don't nothing good ever be in here though, but let's see. Don't nothing good ever be in here. Okay. So we're sitting outside of Deerwood Jewelers. We're about to get our wedding rings and my necklace re rhodium. Look at my hand. I do not take my ring off. That mug was like melted into my skin. It did not want to come off. So my, um, I believe his wedding band is too. But they're all white gold. And white gold is technically not natural. It's man-made. So eventually the white gold starts to turn back to yellow gold. And they got to redip it, clean it, and do all that good stuff. Make it look shiny and new. So we're dropping off our wedding rings and my necklace to get that done. From there, I believe we're going back to the house. We don't really got much planned. Uh, we really wanted to get this dresser for my son because... He needs somewhere to put his clothes. I'm trying to get everything put together and organized. And then just to update from FSCJ earlier. So I, so I called them and they, I called FSCJ and they advised because I took the classes in the past and passed them. That's why the system isn't letting me register. So I got to fill out some form to get an override, this, 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 and that. So I'm waiting on them to send me that form. If I don't get it by tomorrow morning, I'm going to pull up on them and be like, hey, print that out so I can get it filled out. Hmm. So we can get the process started and get me registered for classes. Are you to my school? Yeah. When did they say it's going to be done? Uh, Tuesday. Okay. Sounds good. Well, you hit it from here, child. Oh, really? So you you ain't hungry. So you you full of IKEA. I'm just asking. Yeah. Okay. Well. Damn, since I'm going to the mall, shit, we can recoup, regather, and get back with Facebook later. I mean, with YouTube, with the YouTube fam later. 
Okay. Hey, good morning. We're out there to go to school. After that, my mom is going somewhere. I got a doctor's and, appointment. And yeah. I'm going to school. How you feeling this morning? I'm feeling good. Okay, you excited for school? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Darren picked out Darren picked out his own clothes and everything this morning. We pulling up to his school. As he mentioned, good morning. Um, I have a doctor's appointment this morning. I told y'all I was kind of sleeping on my health, sleeping on my pimping. So I had to tighten that up. I have my cancer follow-up today. Um, that's where they just do like blood work and make sure everything looks fine. I'd be nervous about that part because at the end of the day, it's a test and you got results. So I'd be nervous about getting results, but I know God got me covered. He's going to show me favor. I'm still in remission, still cancer free. We ain't got to worry about none of that, speaking all of it into existence. So um, every three to six months, I go to my cancer follow-ups just so they can check my blood work, make sure my medication is working. We don't got to uh, switch nothing, make sure I'm still cancer free. Um, I was diagnosed in 2018 with leukemia and I haven't had any complications with the condition or my medication, thank God, this whole time. What's up, baby? You gonna walk? Okay, we halfway into the school and when we get to this point, Darren be wanting to walk sometimes. I'm about to pull over right here, baby, so you can hop out. Have a good day, I love you. ass ain't close my door let me see he be trying to hang with his friends get a little hanging in before school start i had to make me a little u-turn to get out of this little school zone but after my doctor's appointment the plan is to go to fscj because they still ain't got back to me with that form that i need to register so i'm just about to pull up on their ass um i got my computer and my ipad because i want to do some editing but i want to change my scenery because i just been in the house for the past couple days the weather has gotten a little better. It's still cool, but it's 64 degrees, so I know it's going to be like 80 degrees later on. So, it's we can get some, um, you know, enjoyment and whatnot in. But, y'all, I got flagged on Facebook. I got a violation on Facebook. So, they demonetized me. So, needless to say, your girl is stressed. I'm trying to get these other platforms whamming like how my Facebook was whamming. So I'm just going to use that in the meantime to redirect traffic to my other platforms. I ain't going to stress about it. What God got for me is for me. So it's all going to work out within itself. Journey. <laughs> Y'all been all right though? I've been blessed. How you doing? Same thing. Yeah. Hopefully this blood work come back good. It's always been good, but I'm always yeah. nervous. It will be. You need to put that out there. Do you see a lot of young people like me or it's usually older people? It's oh, yeah. Okay. But it's mostly older people. Like I come in here and don't nobody look like me. <laughs> Why you guys? Oh, it's, a, it's a lot. So blood work is done. We waiting on the results, and they finally took away the COVID seating because they had like one seat, two seats taped off, another seat, two seats taped off. Now everything is pretty much normal so i guess the world feels like COVID is over and done that's what i'm assuming whatever child but now we waiting for the results i'm always nervous on this part god got me i'm always nervous but god got me i'm gonna sneak record y'all because my doctor don't never let me record so this gonna be y'all angle but y'all gonna be able to hear him and what he say you've been off the designa no okay good because your white count's normal, mm -hmm. so... 
All right, so our counts are good, and I, I don't have your uh, BCR able yet, but okay. that should come back probably in the next couple of days. Baby God had time today, and he was working because y'all heard what that man said. Everything is within normal levels. Thank you, Jesus. There's just one pending test result. That one take like two days. Um, it's called BCR able, and that's the test that they do to see if there's any actual leukemia in your system so the blood work today he's seen like my white blood cells and that's what indicated that i had leukemia slash cancer in the first place when um i was first diagnosed my levels were really high so as long as they're low that's basically saying we're still within good standings so white blood cells came back normal we just gotta wait on the bcr able test to come back um, which can take a couple days as mentioned. Nora's over here looking for some water. We're about to go to Starbucks and get you some water, mama. But yeah, I'm so thankful. Like, I was nervous about this appointment. I was real nervous. So I don't have to be seen again until August. That's the next time I'll be here. So next stop is FSCJ. And then from there, I do want to stop to Ross because Darian needs a belt. So it could be Ross or Target. And that's that. And then we're going to go from there, child. I don't know if I want to cook today. I need to, but I don't want to. The debate that me and Darius has been having, and y'all tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong, or what y'all think, because we can agree to disagree. But I'm telling Darius, going out to eat nowadays costs as much as groceries. And sometimes it's even cheaper if you can find you a little deal like some places be i know texas roadhouse do it if you buy an, an adult meal you get the kids meal free so in that case that's cheaper than me cooking but you're like no we save money by cooking you just want me to cook that's what it is you just want me to cook so i'm gonna see what he say what we're gonna do for dinner but food is somewhere in the cards I'm supposed to be starting a three-day watermelon fast. We talked about it on the video, I mean, on the live. And then after that, I'm like, I'm going to fast. I fasted for one day. And then from there, the temptation, AKA Darius kicked in. So instead of losing the two pounds to get down to the 180s, I gained three pounds. So I'm like 195. So we about to do a three-day watermelon fast. I have to stop to the store and get some of that as well. So we are currently at Freshfields. I just got off the phone with my sister, Pebbles. Look, let me drop her name because they be wanting their shout outs in the vlog. But I got off the phone with my sister, Pebbles, and she was like, if you want a guaranteed sweet watermelon, you need to go to Freshfields. Like all their produce be top tier. So we about to take her word for it. And we want to get our watermelon. Just like that, we are out. So, they don't got no watermelon. This is my first time coming in here. But he says their watermelon is basically high demand, so it tend to go fast. So they don't have any whole watermelons, and then they also don't have no cut up watermelons. He said they should restock by this afternoon, but I stay too far to be riding over here just for a watermelon. So the next stop is gonna be Publix. I did talk to FSCJ and they said they were resending me the form that I needed so I don't have to pull up on them. But apparently something is going on with the student email. So she said she's gonna send that to my personal email. We've made it to Publix and as you can see, the weather has quickly taken a turn. The temperature is still like the high 60s, but it started raining and it done got windy. So I'm about to get these little couple things out of Publix stop and get Darian's belt and then we in the house for the rest of the day it's this lady on Facebook I don't remember her name but I'll put it in on the screen but she has the fire is the most fire family recipes and she just made smothered chicken in the crock pot with green beans mashed potatoes and rolls that seemed quick and easy and some shit that I don't got to pay attention to for a long time so that's what they get for dinner I don't make me a quick little list to get their stuff out of Publix while I get my watermelon. So that's what we about to do right now. Hopefully 
I can get all this done before the rain starts. Pack of rolls. Darian don't need these, but I know it's gonna make his little day, so we gonna get them. So these is the watermelons that they got. I'm trying to decide whether I wanna risk it and buy one of these, because last time I got a watermelon for Publix, it was not sweet. But it's a whole one for $10. This is eight fourteen. That kind of made the decision for me. So we gonna get the one that look kind of the oldest because I feel like that would be the sweetest. It's looking like it's this one. That's the most yellow. So the recipe calls for two chicken, cream of chicken soups. I'm gonna do one cream of chicken and then one cream of celery. But this is the one time the buy one get one free applies to me. Literally the world's best fabric softener. You get a better buy at Sam's, but it's this scent. It's not the yellow scent. The yellow scent is the best one. We out, so we re up. And the secret with this is put one cup in your laundry and then one in the fabric softener area. Clothes gonna be smelling good even when you take them off and you go to wash them again. Still smelling good. Trust me. Okay, like you cut all the extra. Look at this. Look at this. This man is really just sitting on my ceiling. Look at Nor. Ready. Get his ass, mom. I should open up the ceiling. Because why is he on my car like that? Please don't cut like this at home. I don't know why my mama taught me to cut like this, but I've mastered it, but it is really dangerous. When y'all last saw me, I was going into Ross. Went to Ross. Oh, I didn't even take y'all to Ross. Mm. Sure did. So I went to Ross to get Darian a belt. And I feel like this was meant for him because these were literally the last two boy belts left in the store. So he got two belts. The most important one to me was the one at the bottom with all the holes because that's going to be able to fit him regardless. This one might be a little too big. He'll have to grow into it. So along with that, they had Easter baskets on sale because clearly Easter is gone. I didn't get Darian one. And this was originally $25, I believe. $22.98, $25, and they had it marked down for $7, so I can't leave it. Got that for Darian. Bought a big dumbass rug. Rug so big, I couldn't pick it up. Had to get somebody to help me, and it's stuck in the car because I can't take it out. Gotta wait till Darius come home. My intentions for that rug is for it to go in the bedroom. We're gonna see how it all comes together. But that's the plan. And as you can see, I already started cooking dinner. And the meal that I'm making today is like a dumping meal, like I told y'all. So put everything in the crock, crock, crock pot, put the potatoes on, put the green beans on. And now I can get back to business. Got my computer with me. So I have a collab coming up. I have a collab coming up on my other channel. The company just approved me for the collab. Now I gotta pick the pieces. So it's a clothing collab clearly. And a lot of people be feeling like because you have a business in some in a certain area, you can't work with other people. That's small minded crab in a bucket thinking. I sell clothes, so if I was to use that logic, I'd be like, I can't work with this company. For all I know, somebody may come into my channel because of that video and end up buying something from me. Who knows? But uh-uh, we, we about to get all these coins. We ain't leaving nothing on the table. Um, 
what else I have to tell y'all? So we started cooking. I'm about to pick out these pieces. Oh, and Facebook unblocked me. Or re-monetized me, I should say. I appealed the violation and it came back as they reversed it. So your girl is happy because I was a little low-key stressed out about that. I was trying to hold my composure and not show it. But yeah, that's what's currently going on. Um, I do want to record a sit down video today. We're going to see if I get to that because I'll be feeling like if I don't do it early in the morning, don't nobody want to put on a full face of makeup midday. And for the video I want to record, I want to have my face done. So that might be pushed off till tomorrow. Got that big ass watermelon that I still got to cut up. It's looking very intimidating. I just soaked me some chia seeds so I can drink some of that with some water until I can get around to that watermelon. But that's pretty much it. That's what's currently going on, child. I mean, oh, and also what I'm doing. Whenever I'm going through stuff in my house or using something, if I realize that I need it, I go ahead and add it to my Target app in the cart. And it's basically a running list. So if I go somewhere else like Sam's Publix, wherever, and they have the items, I just pull up the app and I purchase it and then remove it from my cart. But that helps me remember to buy them versus me keep forgetting. But I'm about to get this stuff done. I just wanted to check in with y'all and bring y'all up to speed on what's currently going on. I also want to come up with a new schedule for myself because I'm about to start treating Facebook like they don't pay me. Anything y'all give me is extra because I ain't like the way that they just did me. But that goes back to what I told y'all. Anything can happen at any time with social media. So I got to get these other platforms pumping. I got to. And I also got to get these sponsorships. So I'm more focused on my quality versus quantity because I feel like I'm putting out enough stuff to be seen. I just got to work on getting better with the quality, editing, you know, stuff like that. So I'm about to pick these pieces. I got to pick 10 to 15 outfits. And then when I'm done, I'm going to pick y'all back up. So this is four hours later. The chicken is falling apart. Oh, yes, Lord. This mother chicken about to be too good. So we got green beans, just some regular canned string beans. We got some mashed potatoes. I made like a casserole type of thing. And then we got our smothered chicken. So let me go ahead and plate they food. Hey y'all, good morning. So it's a few days later. It's now Friday. I've been having a time. You know how they be like, I had a time last night. I've been having a time with this damn school. And it's really been having me frustrated. So I submitted the forms that I needed to submit. The department that processed that form to override me and get me into the classes that I need to get into is real slow. So by the time I by the time they get the form and process it, the class is filled because it's only one seat left. Then somebody will drop the class, I'll resubmit it. Like, we've been going in that same freaking circle, and I'm like, it has to be a better way. It has to be a better way. And I'm real particular about the teacher that I'm taking because that teacher has good ratings, and I want to set myself up to have the best experience possible going back to school. So that's what I've been doing. Um, Let me think. Did I do anything else? You know, it's normal day-to-day -day shit. Darius uh, did some laundry, y'all. Kudos to him. I feel accomplished and my bitch fits my bitch fits worked. And that's that. <laughs> that's really all the past couple days has revolved around. Right now it's like six something in the morning. Y'all know I'll be getting up at four. So I've been up since four, took my oldest son to school. Now I'm making Darian breakfast. This man feel like he has to get a cooked breakfast every morning. So he requested a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. That's what we took in. I got a few things I need to put together today. Because today is trash day. And that would be the most ideal situation to get those boxes out. Versus 
doing it sometime over the weekend and the box has got to sit for a whole nother freaking week. So I'm sitting here thinking like, damn, when's the last time y'all seen me? Last time y'all seen me, I was making that dump and go meal and I give y'all an update after that. And I was supposed to be doing a watermelon fast, but everything didn't go as planned. The whole watermelon still sitting on the counter. We're going to cut that up today. But, um, yeah, that meal was good. Like, I seasoned it so it tastes good. But what I didn't like about it, it gave very much, you don't got no teeth, so you need soft food. Like, it wasn't a lot of texture in that meal. So, out of a 10, I would rate it like a, a 7. And it's rated that way because of the convenience and that it still did taste good. But me personally, that's not something I would go reach and cook for again unless somebody requests it. Because, like I said, it was real mushy. Like, you got shredded chicken, which is the smothered chicken. You got mashed potatoes. And you got green beans. So... I like more texture in my food. But like I was just putting the food in my mouth and swallowing. Cold breeze on your body. I can tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with me. You look like an Eskimo. Good morning. But today, you're gonna be seeing me tired. <laughs> and also, I couldn't cook, cook for me and she made me a sandwich stack on top of a steak sandwich with two big egg and cheese sandwiches. And I was just playing the game is because my brother, he goes to uh, like, he goes to school late. Early. At like, when it's basically dark, pitch black outside. Y'all have a good day because this food going to be in a good day. So I'm at the gas station. We're about to drop off a package. I got an order and I wanted to go ahead and get that cleared before the weekend. But I also took a shower after dropping off Darian and I kind of put my hair up. And I gave that biotin gel slash edge control that I told y'all about the second try. And it looked like... It did what it was supposed to do this time. I don't know what happened the first go around, but it slicked my edges down this time. The first time, it wouldn't even do this, y'all. So, let's see how it cooperates throughout the day. Because I could very much break a sweat and all this shit nap up. <laughs> all of it gonna nap up. Alright, miss ma'am. Y'all gonna stay in the car with Nora or y'all wanna come with me? I'm going to stay in here with y'all niece or y'all want to come with me. Look at her. Ready. Mama, she was not coming with me. I'm about to run in the store. I'm about to run in the store. I'm about to run in the store and then I'm going to be back. So you about to sit in the car. I ain't going to take long, okay? Okay? She ain't trying to hear that shit. Hold on, Mama. I want a Starbucks coffee so bad. So bad. But I know I don't need to. I just feel like I need an extra little pick me up today. Hello. Just scanning this in. Thank you. You too. The lady that be doing the scanning at this location, she's so wishy washy. Like some days I'll come in this mug. And she'd be like, hey, girl. <laughs> and then other days, like today, thank you, here's your receipt. Carry on. I'm like, I don't know. Should I be giddy and happy when I see you, girl? Or should I be monotone? Because <laughs> I'm always giddy and happy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so we got that dropped off. Who texts me? So you would think this is enough drama. This long line is enough to make me turn around and take my ass home. Nope. Get me a damn coffee. I don't keep coffee in my house because I like my coffee with a lot of creamer, which equals a lot of sugar. So we can't keep that accessible 24-7. So when I get an urge for coffee, which is like once or twice a week, I got to hit up the books. And I want a hot coffee. Like, I don't want a Frappuccino. My hot coffee drink is 
I either get a grande or a venti. We going all in today, so I'm about to get a venti. So it is a venti, hot white mocha with four raw sugars added and caramel drizzle. Freaking ridiculous, but that's what I want. And I've been doing bad. I ain't been using my star. I ain't been using my Starbucks um, card uh, app lately. Like scanning. What 200 points get you? Is that enough for a free drink? Or do I got to pay for my drink? Oh, it's enough for a free drink. So this is free today. Hold on, I'm trying to redeem. I be loving when these apps be coming through like this. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Y'all just offered me some more rewards. Spend at least $10 and get 25 bonus points within the next four days. We'll see, child. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll see. So while we waiting in line, I have a question for y'all. I want my ponytail higher. I got a question for y'all. What is the difference between being fake and change? Or is there not a difference? Because I was watching somebody. I don't know if I was watching or reading something. But basically, they were like, the person is being fake because she ain't used to do that. She ain't used to wear that. She ain't used to do this, 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 and that. But my thing is, the person I was born ain't the person I am today. Things I like when I was born ain't things I like now. The funds in my bank account now ain't the funds in my bank account when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? So, things change which cause people to change. So, I don't understand why when I was reading the article, the person that they was referencing, they are basically saying she's fake because she's doing things differently now. But, just how like sound like to me baby elevated she changed she want different things in her life maybe she went through some shit to make her realize this ain't for me no more this is this new thing is for me so to me there's a difference what i want y'all to answer like i said is there a difference between being fake and change to me there is a difference they made it seem like because she changed she was fake to me fake is like i hang around a friend friend a and then I act one way when I get around friend B. I act a different way due to a scenario situation. Or you talk about one person behind the other back. Like, that's fake to me. Like, that is what I call fake. But change ain't fake. Shit. Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. My name is Colin. Who do we have the pleasure of helping today? Hi, my name is Grace. Hey, Miss Grace, is there any food that we could get going for you? Yes, can I have a venti hot white mocha? A venti hot white mocha, anything else, my love? With four sugar stirred in. Anything else? And that's all. All right, oh. 640, my friend Z, we'll see you at the window, honey. And Thank can you. you make it four raw sugars? I'm sorry. Four raw sugars? Yes. All right, my love, come on through. Thank you. She's always so nice. I love her accent. But yeah, to me, there's a difference. They were trying to make it seem like it's the same thing. Unless there's multiple meanings of these two different words, it's completely different to me. Let me know what y'all think. Tell them mama, would you like to be my son, 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 no telling what I'm finna be on. Hey, hey, I'm beyond all that fuck shit. Hey. Hey, little mama, would you like to be my sunshine? Nigga, touch my game, we gon' turn this shit to Columbine. Ice on my neck, cost me ten times three. Thirty thousand dollars for a nigga to get free. I just hit Rodeo and I spent like ten G's. I just did a show and spent the check on my mama. When I go and vacay, I might run out the Bahamas. And I keep like ten phones, and I'm really never home. All these niggas clones tryna copy what I'm on. Nigga, get your own, tryna pick a nigga bone. Still, boy, I had a good day. Metro PCS, trapping ball, making plays. 
Fifty shades of grey, beat that pussy like a hogan. I know you know my slogan, if it ain't about guap, I'm gone. gotta do another one i'm about to wipe this down and then pack what i can into it and i don't know if i'm doing that other one right now so this, this is kind of more than what i expected <laughs> Okay, so let me show y'all what we're currently working with. So this is everything that I put on and inside of the cabinet thing that I made. All the waters were on the floor along with those karma waters. These cereals were still in boxes and it was bothering me. So this is their little cabinet. The next one that goes up is going to have my stuff and house stuff in it. I just went ahead and put the breads and stuff up there. These are going in the next one like this that I put together. And then I kind of decluttered and took out everything that was expired in the pantry. Put onions. Basically what I wanted to do was put cooked foods, like foods that needs that's for cooking over here. Outside of them. <laughs> and then snacking foods over here. So, of course, the pantry is a little scarce. We got to go grocery shopping, but at least it's decluttered. Got all my cans in order. Restocked my sugar and my rice. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pantry looks a whole lot better, though. Whole lot better. Ain't nothing on the floor. When that gets put up, ain't nothing going to be on the floor, I should say. So, I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to show y'all the budgeting sheet that I use. Um been talking about it for a few vlogs and ain't been coming through and the reason is because I didn't do the budget sheet this month my my income right now is so sporadic inconsistent like I just don't know what to put on this but I'm gonna show it to y'all for people to have normal incomes get paid every two weeks once a month whatever but I'm gonna show y'all what I use so this particular sheet I got it from, okay, so this particular budget sheet I got from Etsy, and um, the way it's set up is you can track annually, and you can also track monthly, and then you have expense tracker. So, like, if you look at the bottom, you'll see annual dashboard, January, January expense, January expense tracker. So, I'm going to... Go to January and we're going to do like a mock setup just so y'all can see how it works. You can change these expenses and bills to whatever you want. Like you can see I have blogging in here because I make a budget for funds that I can spend during while I'm blogging. You have savings investments. You got debt. You got graphs. All kind of crap on here. So I'm going to do two in each category just to show y'all how it works. So under income... You can go in and customize all these. So let's just do, we're going to do YouTube 2. So for YouTube 2, hypothetically, I would be budgeting. Let's say I'm expecting to earn $1,000 this month from this channel. I'll put that under my budget. And then at the end of the month, when you come back to balance your books and make sure your numbers match up or see what changed, then you'll put the actual number in there and it'll show you a comparison. So let's say... The actual number was $900. So hypothetically, I made a little less. And then we're going to do Wi-Fi as a budget of $120. Hypothetically, Wi-Fi was really $100. And then let's do phone. What's going on here? Okay, so let's do phone. Hypothetically, 
well, not hypothetically, my our phone bill is really 360. So we'll budget for 360. But let's say we got grace this month and it's less. So we got two bills in that area. Okay. So then groceries, let's budget for $600 for the month. Let's say we over eight, 700. So you can see how you're starting to get graphs on the budget and the expenses. The lighter one is the budget. The darker one is the actual expense. And then over here, you can also see the breakdown of spending. So let's say actual $700. See how the graph just changed? And let's say restaurant, budget for 500, but we ate less. So that's 200. Then let's say we wanted to save. Okay, so let's see it. Let's say we're saving for vacation and we budget to put $100 to the side, but we can actually only put $50 to the side. Then let's say we budget for 240 on credit card debt and the actual ended up being 270. In the notes section, you can notate whatever you want to notate. But if you look at the expense breakdown here, there's another graph and it lets you know exactly where from the expense summary your funds went. So if you want to see where your money is going, you can do this. And if you go down to the bottom and click January expense tracker, when you put certain things in dates, you can pick the category like I spent, I went to the grocery today, I spent, uh, I bought this, and then I spent this amount of money. It will go from the tracker over to the budget sheet. But this is my mock setup. Um, so according to this, they'll give you your total. You save a total of $50. You see the budget, income, actual this is the budget summary. So out of the money that I allegedly made, which was $900, I'm in a negative 920 because I made less money than what my bills and crap was for this hypothetical situation. But I find it very useful. You don't necessarily have to use it every month. You can use the parts of it that's beneficial for you. I'll leave it linked down in the description box. So anybody that wants to use it, you definitely can. Like, look at that DJ store money. I even got that in the budget. Because my kids always like going to the store. And when that budget is done, it's done. <laughs> so that's the tea with budgeting. Um, I really don't have much going on right now. I'm in the house. I did what I wanted to do outside of putting that other cabinet together. And it's Friday. We're going to wait till everybody else get out of school and whatnot. And then maybe it'll get a little live. But I ain't got nothing planned right now. Hey, y'all. So I got the kids from school. DJ here. Say hey to the vlog. Yeah, <laughs> Darian here. Say hey to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> Darian, be ready to speak. So I just picked them up and they talking about they want to get something to eat. And at first I was like, no, y'all going to eat something at the house. And I was like, maybe we could go to Longhorn. I, I can eat a steak or a pork chop. But this guy says he doesn't like Longhorn. That's new to me. So we are at Rockin' Crab. He specifically said Rockin' Crab too. Not Crafty Crab, not Fahrenheit 45, Rockin' Crab. So we about to go inside and have a little, a little mommy son type of day lunch. And then we'll see what the day holds from there. So if you cold, what you think I am? Hey y'all, I just wanted to pop on at the end because I did not properly end the vlog. I don't know what it was, but we was like caveman hungry. We inhaled that food. I forgot to vlog, 
in the restaurant and then after that we pretty much went home and chilled for the night so this is the end of this weekly vlog i do appreciate y'all for watching i hope you enjoyed the vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe unless i always say y'all could be anywhere in the world but y'all here with me and for that i appreciate y'all see y'all on the next vlog or on the next live bye <laughs>